Hey YouTube, it's Chuck. Welcome back. Well, I'm gonna try to make a video this weekend about the observation hive. It's time to give you an update. Uh, for those of you that have been watching my videos for a, a few months, or maybe even a, a couple years now, because I've been doing this a couple years, this is my observation hive. It's inside of my barn shed. So it's inside, the bees go outside, uh, and it has been through quite a cycle of life here. Um, for those of you that have watched uh, since this spring, this will be a reminder, but this hive swarmed extensively and completely died down to a small cluster of bees with no queen that I could find. Uh, I happened to have a spare virgin uh, left over from some early queen rearing back in February, and I slid the virgin inside the hive and let her go, and was just gonna see if they would accept her without using any cages, and if the hive would survive. Well, wouldn't you know it, the hive has survived, and I'm gonna include a couple of clips from back uh, earlier in the spring, just to let you know uh, where this hive has come from. Check these out. I just caught the hive swarming. Just after I made that video, they just went into this frenzy. There she is. Look at them chasing her. They're saying, lady, we gotta get outside. My red queen hopefully is with them. I did not clip her this year. Last year, I had a clipped queen and we had several failed swarms just because she was clipped and I never found her on the outside of the entrance because I wasn't home. I should be able to get to that swarm probably uh, with some methodology because uh, it's not, I, I can't climb the tree out of that type of a branch, but I might be able to get a pole and a barrel up there after they settle down. It's a cloudy day. It's about 75 degrees and it's right in swarm season, March 2nd. And this hive, I did nothing to prevent swarming on. I just let them do their thing. I did add brood in early January, like I said at the beginning of this video, but I never would have imagined catching the swarm in action other than just timing and those queen cells. I think I even told you a little bit earlier, this hive could swarm at any minute. We'll take a look here in a little bit. We'll go back to the entrance. They're still pouring out as fast as they can. They gotta leave somebody in there, but uh, typically a swarm leaves with about 60% of the bees. So they're gonna have a lot of hatching brood in there. Uh, this hive did swarm. I did not catch the swarm. It went to an enormous ball of bees on the oak tree and they didn't even stay there six hours and they were gone and I don't know where they went. Um, but if you see here, we definitely have some queen cells that have hatched out. Um, these bees are in here just milling around. When you see this few number of bees, there may be a few bees in the middle in here, but the fact I see no eggs on this side, and here's the telltale sign, look at this. A tiny little cluster of bees here and here. And while you might think, oh, there's probably a queen, I'm not seeing any eggs. So if there was a queen, she did not come back and successfully mate. Um, there's a little bit of glistening uh, nectar in here, so they are collecting some nectar. I do have some food up here, I can make sure they're fed, but this is a dying hive, and I don't think it's gonna make it. Now, I do have an experiment I'm going to run, and it's because I don't have time to take this apart the rest of this weekend if this, does, if this experiment doesn't work. One of my queens has hatched, and I didn't have a mating nuke made up for her, so I have a virgin here um, that has hatched, and I've got, she's uh, about two days old. I've had her in here with some water and um, some uh, honey, and she needs a hive badly. Um, and honestly, introducing virgins can be a little bit tricky. Right? And she just fell on the ground. <laughs> she's got wings. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is introduce her to this hive and see if they will take care of her and maybe she will mate. If she doesn't, I'm just gonna need to replace uh, this hive with a mated queen, give them some brood and go. So I am going to try to get her in here very, very carefully. Uh, I've opened the hive just a smidge and we'll see if I can get her to walk in and then perhaps they will attend to her. Usually hives ignore virgins. Um, there's enough room for her to get in there. There she goes and as soon and she is in, all right, she's in there. So I, I, I guess I'll just keep you posted on whether or not they accept this virgin. They, it worked. So 
Anyway, share my excitement with me. I'm just going to show you a little bit. So this is where we are today. And I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm going to have to be able to do to show you here. This, I know this is going to feel like a live stream. But if you can see inside of these cells, we have what we call milk brood. Milk brood are tiny larvae buried in royal jelly, which means, oh, there she is, mama. How about that? Our laying queen that I put in here as a virgin is right there. Wow, I'm glad, uh, what, what luck. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sense of where this hive has been. Um, I just saw the queen and I don't know if she is still in view, but she was right here on this side. They basically, they started brood here and now they've moved up and this is all capped brood at the moment. This queen is not marked because I have not opened the hive uh, since she was accepted. And now they've moved up in here because we have a flow on and this is all nectar storage up top, which is the normal setup for a hive. Lots of pollen coming in down here. The entrance is here and you can see a lot of activity with the bees coming and going. But it's really, really great to see uh, how a hive can be so resilient and come back from such a small cluster. Uh, and basically the same exact mirror image on this side. Lots of pollen down here in this lower section. Got some, some brood that's uh, both laid with larval stage capped and then a nice uh, layer of capped brood here with a, a pure nectar collection up top. Uh, and I'm not doing any feeding. This jar up here on the top was just there to hold the uh, hole closed, but uh, they're really, really doing good. I like to show this because this is really what's going on inside of our apiary. If you ever get a small nucleus colony with just a tiny cluster of bees, really they just need a start. The first and most important thing they need is they need a laying and mated queen. Now granted, me putting a virgin in here was a little bit uh, of a, taking a chance on whether or not that virgin would successfully find her way out here, go mate and find her way back and continue to keep this colony alive. But in this situation, it definitely has worked out and they are on the road to recovery. Uh, and honestly, I think the timing of when I put her in there and their buildup is going to almost perfectly match with the nectar flow. They're probably going to be able to completely fill up these top frames with, with uh, food to get them through the dearth this summer um, based on just their expansion. So complete swarm to almost a dead colony to back to having a nice, there's four, there's two by two here. So this is probably four frames of brood and two frames of food up top uh, with lots of pollen collection. Um, it's just, it's great to see how life just tries to survive. And if you give all the right ingredients, uh, it really, really can flourish. Um, I was hoping to see the queen here while I'm talking to you. I don't see her uh, on this frame like I did just a second ago, but she is a nice looking queen, uh, good uh, sized abdomen, obviously well mated. Uh, I just need to get her marked next time I open this hive up for cleaning but really, really looking good. So anyway, that's the observation hive update. We're here in the uh, late parts of May. The nectar flow is going on in Jacksonville, Florida here in zone 9B and the observation hive is alive and well. So stay tuned for the next one and hopefully you enjoy this. Leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.